Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. The graph of x squared minus xy plus y squared equals 6 is a rotated conic section with 0, 0, as its center. That is, the graph is symmetric with respect to origin, which also can be easily inferred from the equation itself. So we are going to draw this graph and we will also determine what type of conic section it is. So you see there are four types of conic sections circle, ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. For the most basic curves from each category, which are nicely aligned with x and y axis, these are their standard equations. So the type of the conic section can be easily determined from its equation, but we have a problem. Notice that all of these standard equations do not contain x, y terms, but our given equation does. This happens when the conic section represented by standard equation is rotated about the origin. And we are going to determine the degree of this rotation to draw its precise graph. Here's the strategy. Suppose that we have some kind of rotated conic section on xy plane, and the equation of the graph contains xy term. Actually, this diamond graph is not really a conic section, but I used it anyway because we don't know the exact type of the conic section yet. Then, consider rotating the x and y axis by angle theta counterclockwise to construct new axis. Let us call them x prime and y prime axis. This means that we can construct another coordinate system now having x prime and y prime coordinates. And suppose that under the new coordinate system, the equation of the conic section does not contain x y term, or in this case, x prime y prime term meaning that the equation becomes one of these. So we have to find the exact value of the degree of rotation theta, and we also have to obtain the equation of the graph under new rotated coordinate system. How can we do that? Well, we use our knowledge of the rotation of a single point, which you have learned or will learn in basic linear algebra. So we have a point x, y, and suppose that if we rotate this point by angle theta counterclockwise, it moves to point x prime comma y prime. Then the rotated point x prime comma y prime in a column vector form is given as column vector x y multiplied by a two by two matrix r theta, where this r theta is called the rotation matrix. It is known that r theta is given as the matrix cosine theta minus sine theta sine theta cosine theta. But this is the formula for the rotation of a point. How can we apply this to the rotation of the axis? Well, consider an arbitrary point on the graph whose coordinates are denoted as x, y. Suppose that under the rotated coordinate system, its coordinates changes to x prime, y prime. We can also think of this process like this. Instead of rotating the axis, we rotate the point on the graph by angle minus theta, that is theta clockwise. Then the rotated point will have coordinates x prime comma y prime. So we can say that column vector x prime y prime equals the rotation matrix R minus theta times the column vector x y. So we have obtained this, but this isn't really a useful relation because it is point x, y that satisfies the equation of the rotated conic section, not x prime, y prime. So we need to express vector x, y in terms of vector x prime, y prime. In that case, vector x, y is given as the inverse of the rotation matrix R minus theta times vector x prime, y prime. And the inverse of the rotation matrix R minus theta is simply the rotation matrix R theta, which makes sense if you think about it geometrically. So we have matrix cosine theta minus sine theta sine theta cosine theta here. Therefore, we obtain this relation. The next thing to do is substituting this expression into the equation of the conic section. Then we obtain this and let us simplify this by grouping in terms of our new variables, x prime and y prime. Then we have this. We have x prime square terms, then x prime y prime terms, and y prime square terms. Here, 
we can use cosine square theta plus sine square theta equals 1. And sine square theta minus cosine square theta equals minus cosine 2 theta, which gives 1 minus cosine theta sine theta x prime squared minus cosine 2 theta x prime y prime plus 1 plus cosine theta sine theta y prime squared equals 6. This is the equation of the curve under x prime and y prime axis rotated by an arbitrary angle theta. And we want this angle theta to have a specific value so that x prime y prime term disappears. This means that the coefficient of that term, cosine 2 theta, must be 0. There are infinitely many values of theta that satisfies this equation, but let us take the simplest one, which is 2 theta equals 90 degrees, so theta equals 45 degrees. That is, if we rotate the axis by 45 degrees, then we obtain the equation without xy term. So from here, if we let theta be 45 degrees, then we have this. Notice that x prime y prime term is now gone. This equation simplifies to 1 over 2 x prime squared plus 3 over 2 y prime squared equals 6. So we have x prime squared and y prime squared terms having different coefficients, which is the equation of an ellipse. The standard equation of the ellipse looks like this. So by dividing both sides with 6, we have x prime squared over 12 plus y prime squared over 4 equals 1. So x prime squared over 2 square root of 3 squared plus y prime squared over 2 squared equals 1. Therefore, on x prime y prime plane, this is an ellipse with semi major axis 2 square root of 3 and semi minor axis 2. So we can finally draw the graph like this. First, we construct new axes by rotating the existing ones by 45 degrees. Then, using those axes as a new reference, draw an ellipse having semi major axis of 2 square root of 3 and semi-minor axis of 2. And this is the graph of the given equation. And this is the graph drawn by Desmos graphing calculator. So that was all for today's video. If you want to know what is the equation of this heart-shaped curve which is constructed from the ellipse, go check out this video and also don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And as always, I will see you in another video.